Respiratory issues are not just affecting people this time of year. A mysterious canine respiratory illness has popped up in several states across the country. And as CBS News correspondent Bradley Blackburn reports, it can take a quick turn for the worse. An unknown respiratory illness is hitting dogs around the country and sometimes turning deadly. I just want to cry. I know. <laughs> it's been very difficult. <clears throat> Veterinarians at Spoke Animal in Washington State have been dealing with it since September. At one point, 80% of shelter dogs were sick and two have died. We had what we thought was a routine outbreak of kennel cough. They're testing everything that they could think that it is. It's largely coming up negative. 3,000 miles away in New Hampshire, Kaylee and Ryan Gordon have kept their Australian Shepherd Toby in quarantine for the past few weeks. It was getting so bad. He was up all night last night coughing. A lot of people said it looks like kennel cough and then turns into something that's kind of like pneumonia. They say Toby is improving, but it'll be another few weeks before he can be around dogs again. Veterinarians say this mystery illness is spread through interactions with other dogs, and some health departments are telling people to keep their pups away from places like the dog park, groomer, or boarding facility. They need their exercise, and it's hard to get the exercise without walking them or coming out here in the city. Symptoms include coughing, sneezing, nasal or eye discharge, and lethargy. And if acute pneumonia sets in, some dogs can die within two days. While there's no treatment, veterinary doctor Mike Hutchinson says vets can still help relieve the symptoms. There's no really good antiviral on the market. However, we can support the symptoms, sometimes by nebulizing them or giving them some support fluids, things that they need. Experts say it's a good idea to make sure your pet is up to date on vaccines, including those that protect against respiratory illnesses. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News, New York.